Well, the sandbox is basically this uh, feature from a cloud guru, which allows you to log into different cloud accounts and experiment within those cloud accounts without necessarily having your own account yourself. And I've just been having a play with this. I was, you know, creating some tutorials, so I thought I would have a go using it. And it's the first time I've used it um, ever since that feature was released. And I must say, I'm super impressed already. So it doesn't do anything particularly magical. All it does is give you, for instance, I've been using it now for AWS, and it just gives you an AWS account out of the box. Now, it might not seem so brilliant, but what's so amazing about this is that's an entirely temporary account, which is amazing for experimentation. So AWS in the past have been a real pain for this because there isn't any particular guardrails within the AWS account that make setting things up super easy for a beginner. And it's always been such a big pain point for me. And I've written about this in the past. And you know, when I'm writing articles, you know, talking about using something in S3, I feel like I'm always having to caveat that with, don't forget to set up your AWS account properly. You know, don't forget to set up billing alarms. Don't forget this. Don't forget that. And it can kind of be quite frustrating, even as a as a writer or as a content creator, to keep having to make reference to those things. You have to set those up. But even as a learner, it's a real pain. It's a pain to have to know all of these things in order to get started. So basically, I've been having to play with the sandbox, and it is it is really cool. It's dead simple. You know, you just copy a link. Um, you go, you go into it, you copy a link into AWS. I assume the same for Azure and uh, all the other different cloud, you know, cloud providers that they support on there. But you go in, you copy that link, you put your username and password in, and boom, just everything works. You've got yourself into, a, into an account. I'm not quite sure how long until they tear down everything that you've done, but for me, it doesn't really bother me because most of the time I'm experimenting using infrastructure as code. So if they delete all of my stuff, that's fine. I will log in, make a new session, take my credentials and just recreate everything. No big worries for me. So I, I don't know how long the sessions actually last, but it doesn't really matter too much. And yeah, you've got access to like uh, basically most of the resources you can do pretty much anything, everything you'd want in terms of experimentation there, which is honestly, that like, is very cool. Very cool indeed. Um, you know, this would be definitely something that I'm going to end up recommending to people because, you know, it's a very safe way of learning, particularly AWS. Um, and that, you know, it just lowers the barrier for people to get into it. So, so far, I, you know, this is not like going to be an in-depth review of the sandbox. Maybe I'll do that in a, in a future video. But yeah, just, wow, okay. Definitely worth having a look at if you haven't already seen it. You know, if you are wanting to do experiments and you're kind of held back by that sort of feeling that, I just don't, I don't want to end up getting a big bill or I don't know what I'm creating here and you you know that kind of sense of hesitancy that you can sometimes get and uh now with this it kind of removes that which is that's really cool so so far I'm really impressed and you know maybe I'll come out and do another video in future talking more in depth about the specifics of it but yeah first impressions very cool definitely would recommend it on you know the little that I've had to play with it uh just even today for instance